Hello again. Well, here in uh, this part of England, spring has finally sprung. We've got some warmer weather, some blue sky, and the sun even put in a bit of an appearance, which always makes things feel a lot better. So I thought today we would look at one of the better mid-60s soundtrack albums. Roust about. Now, like all the soundtrack albums from this period, it just isn't long enough, but it has a decent selection of songs. So, the original stereo pressing is, of course, a red spot. Now, the original run, you're probably not going to be able to see it, but I'll put a picture up. Third track, Carney Time. Above it, Carnival Time. Now, of course, it should be Carney Town. And I think the graphic designer just had time on his brain. The UK mono pressing. So, of course, the same cover, except for the... Uh, the number at the top, which has RD instead of SF. But other than that, same cover and the mono on the back. Again, it's a red spot, and again, it's Carney Time instead of Carney Town. Now they did issue a corrected album, but from the outside it looks the same and most people selling them don't know that there's a difference. Um, not so easy to find, it took me a while to find one. So as you see the third track is now Carney Town. So if you see one it's worth picking up, always worth checking if you see one for sale. Now the album went to number one in America but only made number 12 in the UK. And then of course we had the orange label release. So the cover again looks the same. But um, up here where it says mono, we have the RD number, but now we also have LPM 2999. And this is the UK orange label. Next we have the 70s release. And this is also an orange label. It's in a new cover. And finally we have the international the pressing of the album which is of course green label now I don't have the American stereo pressing yet it's one that I am looking out for uh, but here is the the mono Pressing. And 
they have Carney Town, so they got it right. The only other American pressing that I have at the moment is this one. But when I saw this I had to get it because it's actually pressed on red vinyl and I just like the look of it. The red with the black label works really well. Um, so I still have to get the original stereo, uh, the tan the 1977 black label all of which I am looking out for so now what about the rest of the world I have some quite unusual pressings so here we have a pressing from Uruguay El Carousel de la Mor And you can see down in the bottom, Uruguay. And all the song titles are in... Uh, what do they speak in Uruguay? Spanish? The label is quite a, a fussy affair. With all the song titles in Spanish. So that's one you don't see very often. Next we have Brazil. Carousel de Emocos. Emocos, something like that. Now this isn't the original pressing, this is a later repressing. Song titles in English. And this is on a... It's a sort of... Faded orange label. Not very successful. Hmm. I think this needs replacing. Right. Next we have Pressing from Italy. Il Cantante del Luna Park. Black label. I don't know if this is the original inner sleeve, but uh, Roustabout does actually appear. So next we have this pressing. And if you look at the top there in the white box, you'll see popular. So this is South African. And the label is black. Uh, 
Uh, now we come to Australia. So here we have the original mono pressing. Very different back cover. And this is a black label with the silver spot. And next comes a repress. Again, a very different back cover. And a green international label. remember uh, okay this is the um, later European pressing with an NL prefix the barcode at the top and on the black with the thick silver band. Now we go to France. So this is the original French pressing. is again a black large silver spot again I don't know if this would have been the original in a sleeve from the period Just two to go. So here is the later French pressing with the large RCA in the corner. Orange label. And finally, we have the Japanese. And as you will come to expect from the Japanese, gatefold, song lyrics and some text. And the jet, the black it's Victor label. So that just leaves the follow that dream release of Roast About. Now there is one more item, of course no single was released from the soundtrack, which is surprising because there were some decent songs on there. But what you can find is
a promo. So there we have Roustabout. Not for sale. And on the back is one track heart. I don't know why they decided not to uh, release it generally. Now you will sometimes find this being sold in a picture sleeve that looks something like this. Sometimes it will be in colour. Programming use only, not for sale, for radio stations only. Now it's a fantasy piece. They were not issued in these sleeves. But they're a bit of fun. So I got a cheap copy just to put with it. So that covers my vinyl pressings of Roustabout. The film I like. Um, as I said, decent songs on there. In fact, I watched it only a couple of weeks ago when uh, I had some spare time. Um, I have bought a lot of CDs over the past couple of months which are piled up on my shelf waiting to be sorted. So uh, my next video might be a look at some of those because there are some unusual ones amongst them. So till next time, bye for now.